they'll tell you that there's more oxygen in the water. So that's there's a water you think we find these everywhere or just in certain spots? Yeah, they're moving. Uh, in certain spots. You might like not. Like here by these rapids, that might would, be good. Yep, in the, rip, the ripples. Yep. And you find certain species too in the, the, uh, the blue areas. So it depends. They've got a little nature, little habitats that okay. you find them. One thing, one thing nice about the, yeah, the bugs also is that I found a red one. When you go out and do your sampling, one. it's okay. kind of a snapshot in time, and th these live their whole life here. And so if you normally find them, that's good. But then suddenly, if they're gone, I mean, some pollutant came through okay. and wiped them out. So they're a good long-term indicator of the health of the system. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we found a blood one. So the blood worm, it's got, it's got blood, right? Uh, no global. So chances are it was probably in a pool spot. So there isn't a whole lot of oxygen. And they've got that hemoglobin in that in, in that blood. So that holds oxygen. So um, if you were to find a spot with a whole lot of blood worm, then it's an indicator uh, or indication that there isn't. Water is floating along here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't notice it all. Yeah. You know what? It's a fair home. Oh, 